guys, let's talk about something cool that was found by the Hubble Skeloscope. Skeloscope? Wait a minute, I think it's called the Telescope. Dar hey guys, what's going on? Dave Waffle here, and guess what? We're talking about these cool new dark spots that were found on Neptune. So guys, that's right, it's true. It looks like the Hubble Telescope and NASA have found new dark spots on Neptune. Now I know you guys are probably wondering, dude, why Dave? I mean, like, what do you freaking do? They're just freaking dark spots, who cares? But if you guys are an absolute science dork like me, you guys are absolutely gonna love this because this is the first time they found dark spots on a planet in the 21st century. Just took freaking 16 years. Now these spots and vortexes pretty much show the existence of high pressure on the planet Neptune. Now Neptune has been a home to a big dark spot which was discovered in 1989 by Voyager 2. But it disappeared when they checked it again in 1995 with the Hubble telescope. Now keep in mind the Hubble telescope is the only way for us to actually see weather and like weird formations on the planet. But it's not not really good because the resolution isn't awesome and due to these limitations they aren't really sure if the big dark spot is gone or if it's just covered up by the clouds. Don't ask me why I couldn't get clouds out there. Now Neptune is probably one of the prettiest friggin' planets in our solar system. It's a gas giant with an atmosphere that's made up mostly of helium. So if you were to breathe on it you'd be like, I got what's going on? Also there's hydrogen on there and methane which is in the upper atmosphere which makes it look blue. Yo, you see the blue Danube here, home to us? Yeah, dude, eat your heart out. Neptune is way bluer. And although it is a gas giant, it is believed that its center, its core is rock or ice and the mantle is water or methane ices. Now as for these dark vortexes, apparently they go through the atmosphere like a huge lens shaped gastrious mountains. Now of course these dark spots also have little tiny white clouds. They're called companion clouds and they are created when air flows on the planet is disturbed and thrown way up into the atmosphere by these dark vortexes. But as for this dark spot, it is big. They're calling it a maelstrom and it is about 3,000 miles across. That's insane. But it's just interesting because, let's be real, it's the first one that they've found because it's been over 20 years since they had the last big spot. Man, 20 years for a big storm to happen? That is an awesome planet. I mean, here on Earth, every friggin' season we get a hurricane that knocks buildings down. P.S. Why do people live in hurricane-like prone areas? Just not smart. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. I want to know from you guys if you guys could go to any planet in the solar system, which planet would you go to? And yes, you could survive on it. You got like an Iron Man suit that would keep you alive. But let me know what planet and why down there. And other than that, guys, keep it real, keep it classy, keep it on the flip side out there in the solar system.